We're a normal difficulty kind of person, so I have no problems with this. Yep, it's all going. It's all good. Pause all of these video streams just because I'm not going to be able to. It's worth my time to not show everything, so let's get started. could have been it, but we'd never die, for sure. More likely is the fan depiction of Samus. Anyway, we're being given a bit of a pointer towards our next objective. So let's get going. Of course, with the introduction of these statues, they'll also recharge our weapons and energy. Save room with that, that side. I don't think I'll need it unless the computer crashes. Which, of course, they won't actually do anything. Because I was streaming Super Metroid Reimagined, and then it crashed. And that ended the stream there. towards our destination. With that, we get the long beam. Which, you know, is long. What more do I have to say about it? To think that someone somehow managed to conduct any missions before anything else with a beam that fired all the five feet. How? I don't know. Try and cheap out this. I don't think I've got this down. Yeah, I'm no good at this. No speedrunner, not in the slightest. Okay, we have some light lava, or acid or something. Anyway, it's kind of corrosive to Samson's suit, so... Over here we have the boss gateway. Which entails two bosses. Man, the music is really eerie in this place. And we get locked out of there because we've triggered an event. In any case, before I was streaming, it was I was going up between this and Metroid Fusion. I decided to do Zero Mission because I already have a Let's Play of Metroid Fusion. It's 
it's been a long time. I think it was my second LP, technically, so maybe I'll <laughs> I'll do something else next time. I'll do that next time. Anyway, back into the main gateway. I forget whether Zero Mission came first or Fusion. I remember, for sure. Because I never owned a Game Boy Advance back then. Right trigger and B to fire. Made it a little bit awkward to try and get through things. We got ourselves the charge beam. A very nice beam. I forget that wall jumping is also part of this. That the mechanics have been somewhat changed, so I am not used to this. Save room. since we're in a pretty frail state at the moment. Anyway, this Brinster is kind of cavernous, kind of blue. Here's yet another missile tank, for reasons. And our first energy tank! I mean, comparing this to, say, the Genestroid, which is the original Metroid, they certainly decided to depart from the bright orange brick design. a map room and that tells us a whole bunch of stuff and I know what we need to get next and that is naturally bombs yeah I'm still getting used to the controls I played M2R with Game Boy Advance controls it might be a bit more easier for me experiencing a bit of slowdown. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's supposed to be part of the emulation or not. But anyway, next major item, bombs. That 
we can set them and explode things. Let's take a bit of a drink there, otherwise my throat is gonna go dry. There we go. 20 missiles, one energy tank. We're doing a bit better now. That was kind of sloppy, but whatever. I'll deal with it. Now it's time to go back to where we once were before. I forgot I had charge beam. I've just been spamming it the entire time. I'm sure there's no items hidden in the middle area. At least I don't think so. Also, hello to you viewers on YouTube. The two of you that are there. I have no idea whether or not it's actually working, but it seems that it is on the other services. So I'm just going to trust that it's still working right now. Grab ourselves here another missile tank. Each one adds five more. Compared to the old days, the missile doors just need one, so no worries there. Oops. I have to wait for the block to reform because I'm not good at these kinds of jumps. And now it's only down to one viewer. Too bad for you, extra viewer. Let's go down, 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 going down. Also, the bomb spread is not present in this game. Nor is it available in Metroid Fusion. It's only ever available in AM2R. Maybe it's because, you know, the lack of versatility with that technique. Anyway, we're headed on down to North Air. Good old North Air. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Nope, seems that it's got eyes on us. We've gone down. We've got a few couple of rooms. Save room over here, which links over into the next room over there, but we need to go this way, I think. Oops. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting that just now. I think if I recall correctly in the speedrun version, you wouldn't have gotten the long beam or something. So you'd end up using missiles to supplement your long shots for the entire game, basically. We got a few viewers on Twitch. Hi there. Feel free to say hello. I'll try my best to read the chat. <laughs> All six of you, apparently. Not going that way. <laughs> and 
here we are, Chozo Ruins. The one place that doesn't exist in the original. <laughs> and over here we have this mystery item. It's just, it's just a stone tablet. Better beam of some sort. Analysis inconclusive. Incompatible with current suit. 